And would you like to tell us about our encounter? Our encounter is the spearhead of the clan chief. Ooh, this is good. Bergilda, an elderly seer, is seeking the aid of adventurers. Through her divinations, she has seen an item of power that hides deep within the Burning Spear cultist territory. It's guarded by beasts, brutes, and magic. Of course it is. The, <laughs> the item she seeks is called the Spearhead of the Clan Chief, which is a circulate of blasting. The characters must remove it from the hands of the vile Burning Spear. She warns characters to be wary, for the Spearhead is likely in the possession of one of the agents of the Burning Spear. If true then their power would be much greater than those of the mains that surround them. Yeah, the locations of the cultist cavern uh, opens around alongside of a river. It's a perfect spot for them to enter and leave from, as well as a powerful way to bring goods and equipment into their sanctuary. Berghilda believes that um, with the correct tactics, patience, and a little luck, <laughs> the character should be able to enter the cavern, retrieve the spearhead, and return. If possible, if possible, she would like to see all of the burning spear punished. So she will have a special reward for the characters that can manage to deal with the entire cult within the lair. But that's a tall order. This is the first quest that I have ever made that is straight up, go take them out. Go take them out. Yep. So now here's the question. What do you put in this encounter that makes it challenging? Depending on what level the players are. So for me, it's got to have traps. Mm -hmm. um, so I, when, I, when I was writing this, I was designing a, around an idea of it being like fifth level, right? Mm -hmm. So you got to have traps. And the first one that comes to me is Glyph of Warding. Things that just blow up when you get too close, I think <laughs> is great. Um <laughs> But I also think that them seeking out a magic item mm -hmm. to give to somebody else mm -hmm. is something that no rogue is going to let happen. <laughs> I don't think any rogue is going to let that happen because that magic item is way more valuable than <laughs> anything this Elder Seer probably has. I'm not familiar with the circlet of blasting. I've heard of the glove of blasting, but not a circlet of blasting. Uh, it lets you blow stuff up. Oh. I, I, I don't actually remember the exact detail because I wrote this like two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody wanted, you want to look that up and get the exact details, but I think it lets you cast Fireball, if oh. I'm not mistaken. Um, oh. I, could, I could be wrong. It's been a while. <laughs> it's just like, what could take the shape of a spearhead and be deadly? But anyways, this is a really interesting one because um, I think this could go either way. If she... Uh, if you set it in a way where it's a deadly encounter, if they try to take them all out, mm -hmm. then you can give a really, really nice reward to the players here. You can use it like a Scorching Ray. Scorching Ray. That's far less deadly than uh, Fireball. Yeah, because that's the same thing as the Glove of Blasting, but it's a glove. Yeah, so you're basically just Iron Man <laughs> is what it sounds like. Yeah. Boom! Yeah! Um, so yeah, so it's pretty simple. What are some really cool tactics you would uh, like to include here? Um... I would say have, like, the most deceptive person uh, be, like, the infiltrating spy. Okay, um, okay. Just to get, to get the lay of the land and whatnot. Oh, that's really good. The Burning Spear cult almost is like a name of an orcish clan. Troll. Hmm. Oh. Spoilers. <laughs> No, it's okay. It's fine. Anyway, uh, <laughs> carry on. Um, so the thing that I do think about is cool about this is because it's there. You, I want to take their name into consideration. The burning, right? Yeah. So when I think lair, I was thinking grabbing the 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 red dragon's lair actions and just having switches that the people can pull when they have infiltrators. Yeah. yeah. So everywhere they go, the entire time they're inside, there's a lair action. So you, the entire time they're in there, it's a dungeon crawl. Yeah. It is round after round. <laughs> Yeah, great way. Yeah, that's a great resource if you want to uh, implement a series of traps into the layer itself. Yes, layer yeah. actions from creatures are powerful, powerful tools, and if you're not using them, you should. <laughs> yep. All right, uh, that'll do it for our encounter. Yeah.